Hey guys, today I wanted to do a review on the e.l.f. Studio Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20 with aloe, cucumber, vitamins A, C, and E, and you get 0.7 ounces for $3, but with e.l.f. there's always coupon codes, so I think I got this for 50% off. I got it for $1.50. Um, so you're getting not a ton of product. The packaging is kind of deceiving. Um, you can see the color right here. This is a clear window. You can see the product. When I first got it, it was like black, so I couldn't see any product. So I knew it was a package wasn't completely full. I'm hoping you're still getting the 0.7 ounces because that's what they that's what it says. I'm just hoping that the packaging is just a lot bigger than it should be or that it needs to be. Um, but you're really not getting a ton, so don't be deceived by this. Um, it's not a lot of product, and I think that was the biggest complaint I saw like online people reviewing this. Um, but yeah, so I do have this on my face today. I have it in the color Nude, which I believe is the second to lightest shade that they offer, and I think there's like six shades total. Um, but it's a tinted moisturizer, so you, you're getting very little coverage, so you kind of have some room to play if you don't have the perfect match. Um, just try to get close. But this one actually works really well for me. Like I said, I have it in Nude. Um, in shade comparison, if you guys are wondering, I'm between NC20 and NC25 in MAC. Um, so I have this on my face today with nothing else, no moisturizer, no primer. Um, this was it, and I put that on. And then I did conceal under my eyes and around my nose, and I just used the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller just under my eyes, and I even used this as, like, regular concealer around my face as well. Um, and then I dusted my face with the MAC MSF um, Natural, and I have this in medium, in case you guys are wondering. Um... I don't like wearing this alone. Alone, I feel like it's not enough, and I do have oily T-zone, so I do want to set it with some powder, and I like the MSF Natural because it does give me a little more coverage, but um, together, I really like these products, and that's all I have on my face today, and it gives you just kind of like a fresh face look, um, just light coverage, it looks really natural. Um, at first, though, I'm going to be honest, I didn't like this at all. I didn't like the fact that I didn't really see a big change because it is very light coverage and I didn't notice anything and I didn't really like the, the consistency, the texture of it. It was kind of, um, well I'll show you. I have it on my hand right now, on this hand, and I put, and this one has nothing on it. So you can see that this hand is a little more evened out. You can see the veins in this hand are definitely more prominent. On this hand it's a little bit more minimized. Um, so it does give you a good amount of coverage for a tinted moisturizer, evens things out nicely, but the thing is, if you have blemishes or if your skin's not perfect, it's really hard to notice the fact that it's doing anything, and that's kind of why I didn't like it at first. I guess the week that I tried it the first time, I had some blemishes, some spots, and I, and I still saw them through this, and I was like, well, it's not doing anything, so why am I even bothering? But I, I kept using it just to see if I liked it any better, and and now I actually do really like it in combination with these. Like I said, I don't use it by itself. But on a good skin day, you can really tell that it's kind of evening it out, evening out your skin tone, giving you a little bit of coverage, not too much. And then, like I said, I get extra coverage from this, but I don't even put that much on. Combination, I like it because the consistency of this, and I'll show you, which is kind of the reason why I didn't like it at first, it, it was kind of... I don't know, I felt like it was kind of gel-like. It was in between a gel and like cream almost. Um, and it was kind of sticky. It was a little bit on the thick, kind of sticky side. So when I would apply it, it wouldn't really glide on my skin that well. Um, I do normally wear my regular moisturizer on my face and then I'll apply this. Sometimes I'll even go ahead and put a primer on first and then apply this. With the primer, I feel like this glides on so much better. But then, with the fact that I have to put on a primer first kind of defeats the purpose of, like, a one-step product. Um, so it's fine, you know, on its own. It's just kind of, you kind of have to blend it in, and it is, it doesn't feel as smooth as I would like it to go on. Um, when it dries and it soaks into your skin, it's fine. Um, but as I'm applying it, it does kind of feel sticky, and I feel like it's kind of, it doesn't glide on smoothly, like, if that makes any sense. It kind of... I feel like I have to really spread it out in order to get it all over my face. Um, but it's nice. Like I said, I'm not wearing any other moisturizer on my face today, and I'm fine. I have um, an oily T-zone. The rest of my face is pretty normal. If you have really dry skin, you might want to wear another moisturizer underneath it. It might not be enough um, moisture for you. 
but on a day where I don't really need a lot of coverage and I kind of just want my skin to breathe a little bit, I do really like this. And for the price, I think it's pretty good. Um, you do get, you know, decent amount of coverage for tinted moisturizer. It's not like a Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer where you get quite a bit of coverage. This one's very, very light. Um, so, yeah, for those of you who don't really wear foundation and you want something just um, kind of even out your skin tone a little bit, um, one step thing that gives you an SPF and a little bit of coverage all in one, I would definitely say give this a shot. Again, don't be deceived by packaging. It's not completely full. You're not getting a ton of stuff. Um, in this and I did find that I did have to use quite a bit um, it is buildable you can go ahead let it dry soak into your skin apply another layer but yeah basically it's not gonna last you that long um, would I repurchase it I think I would I don't think I'd purchase it for full price but for a dollar fifty I definitely would and I think I might do that for um, my vacation coming up for days when I just want to look fresh and not too overdone so that's my review if you guys have any other questions oh it smells like sunscreen to me, in case you're wondering. It's not, like, highly fragranced. It smells like sunblock. Um, I kind of like it. I like the smell of sunblock, but yeah. Anyway, that's my review. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have tried it and what you think about it. If you guys have any other questions, let me know, and I will try to answer it for you. Talk to you guys later. Bye!